in the past couple of months I have worked with people uh, mentoring them or looking over the shoulder or such and um, when I work with them I have found that this one little command this one little tool within a command was not being utilized and it kind of blew their mind and blew my mind that they didn't even know about this if you ever took one of my AutoCAD classes you would hear me preach to no end that um, always read your command line because there's there's tools in there and there's gems in there that you you're probably not aware of but I was watching somebody one time and they were trying to fill it something a shape similar to this and they were trying to add a 0.5 radius to every corner so they were coming in here and doing the fillet command and they would set their radius because we all know we need to set a radius so they said 0.5 and we'd hit enter and then they'd come over here and they would do they were at least smart enough to do multiple and they would come in here and go click click and they'll go click click and then keep on going down the line and that to me is just a lot of work okay so let me undo that real quick so i i ask well why don't you just make that into a polyline and then fill it in? and uh the the look of confusion would sit upon their face and then i'd say well, let me show you okay so the first thing i would do is since these are separate lines i would um first join them and to join them i'm just going to use the simple join command which or you can type in j enter and the joy command works and i will join all these items right here okay and now i have one polyline of course they must be endpoint to endpoint co and coplanar in order for them to join properly if they have any elevations differences on them of course they will not join okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the fillet command again i run the fillet command and i select radius and I type in 0 0.5 because that's what I want and I hit enter and then before I do anything else I look at the, the uh, command line one more time and there's a polyline option so I hit polyline and I select the one polyline I select it and I'm done I'm actually quite shocked how many people don't know this command exists but I hope you find it useful and I hope you work with it alright